Hey all welcome back to uh, the second episode of the Spotter's Guide. Uh, as we left off, uh, what I've done is I've just cooked up the rest of the meat that we had here. Um, I also found out that the Douglas fir burns pretty hot uh, up and around there. I actually haven't thrown that into a fire before. Uh, white cedar, however, still burns about the same in, as willow, so just uh, for future reference. Uh, as you can see, night has fallen, and as I don't want to deal with any of the nasties uh, until I am a little more settled in, just gonna hop into bed real quick. And there we go. Pop up, see the sunrise. Uh, what we're gonna focus on today is I'm going to make a gravel pit. Or not a gravel pit. <laughs> going to make a coal pit. And for that, we're going to want uh, some dirt. So, we go over to our crafting table. Um, going to make actually uh, a chest first and you can do that by uh, the same pattern as before with the ring of planks but I wanted to show that the stone axe with the willow also gets you planks and it won't use up your entire stone axe is it's a much more effective way of creating um, the planks that you're going to want for ow, for uh, crafting and such so now I'm uh, gonna do a little bit of a combination of wood here uh, get the twos going. One, two, three, two, 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 and two. So a combination of different woods still gets me the chest. Uh, so don't worry about the the wood collection that you're gathering. I'm going to just place this right here. There we go. Now we can offload some of the things that we're not going to want to carry around with us as we're doing this. Uh, keep the leather. The leather is going to be important uh, in the not too far future. I also always keep a little bit of the sticks and the cobblestone with me. Dirt is what we're going to be collecting, so I can get rid of the rest of that. And I like just having the flint as uh, my common pokery item here. So uh, you make a uh, charcoal pit by using a campfire. Is it becomes the center of the charcoal here? So as I just mentioned and failed to do, we're going to make a shovel so we can gather some dirt, probably from that hill over that in dire that direction. Uh, might take two of them, so here we go with that. Also need to start looking at getting some more uh, logs and such again. So let's just swim across here. Nice. I still am just thoroughly impressed with that. And one of the things I want to point out is we're also going to get some uh, stone while we're here. But uh, there's some new logic uh, that I might not be able to show you guys because of just how high the stone is in this particular area. But uh, Dirt Falls is... Uh, let me just get a little stack of it here and I'll just show you manually. Uh, if there's grass up on the top, it's going to stay suspended in the air, and that's actually one of the focuses for making the charcoal pit that we're going to be doing. But if the dirt is just naturally hanging on its own, it's no longer going to defy the laws of physics and just stay there. It's actually going to fall to the ground like we're normally used to with uh, sand and gravel. So that's just one of the things to be aware of. Um, the other thing is that cobblestone is actually going to do exactly the same thing, is it will also fall to the ground because it's a collection of broken stones and such, so that does make sense. Uh, it still needs to be gathered up with a, uh, a pick as opposed to a shovel, uh, but who knows, maybe that will change as time goes by since it is a loose collection of stone. Uh, since we are here though, I am going to gather more of this because we are running pretty low. so. This is one of the things that might be changing in the future, is we can still hold a, a uh, fairly large stack of cobblestone on our person. So we're actually going to take advantage of that for now. And gather up enough pieces to keep us in uh, good standing. Oh, that chicken scared the crap out of me. You know what happens when that happens. Die, spy chicken. Spy chicken. There we go. Uh... One of the things you want to be weary of, which I might be able to show you now, is the environment isn't stable. If you're mining through it like this, and you're not being as careful as you should be, there's a possibility that you're going to get a cave-in. 
Uh, right now that would actually be kind of helpful because I'm not, I don't really have anything over my head that's going to come down and crashing upon it. And um, when cave ins happens, ah, just like that, it crumbles the uh, rocks that you're actually going through and building, or mining. Um, and cobblestone is in general a little bit easier to mine out than the normal stone itself. Uh, so at times it can be beneficial. Uh, I think we have enough pieces for now though. So uh, just gonna gather a little bit more dirt here and then head back to our uh, island in the swamp. And I've only got a few hits with that pick. I might as well use the rest of them up on gathering some uh, replacement stone. So this will just, you know, set us up. There's another four pieces used for all four whatever. Here we go. So, with the dirt, uh, you'll actually see that there's different types of dirt now, and quite a few of them. Um, we're going to form a ring. Wow, it's always like over day I start noticing it getting dark. We're going to form a ring because uh, the, the recipe for charcoal is fireplace, piles of logs, and then no air to the logs. So you can pile the logs around the charcoal fire, um, two away from the fireplace on the lowest level, so it's, you know, it goes out one, two, uh, over one, and over one, so that means we can't go there. Uh, we're not going to go here, here, or here. And that makes the initial baseline for where we're going to be able to place logs. And making charcoal takes a, a bit of time, it takes about 18 hours of in-game time, not real time. Uh, so you want to be able to maximize how many pieces of, uh, how many logs you're actually going to be using at any given time. And you'll notice that the grass here is spreading. This is exactly what we want. Is uh, As I mentioned before, the dirt with grass on it is going to stay where it's placed, as it won't come crashing back down upon you. Uh, and that is really key to being able to make this a reusable environment. Um, and that's pretty much everything that I'm about is, you know, crafting stuff where it's a reusable commodity and I can use it over and over again to uh, get the results that I want. Now, fireplaces or charcoal pits can actually have a second layer of wood that's this little 3x3 three three in the center here. So we're also going to want to cover that with, uh, with dirt at the end of the day. So this is basically what your uh, charcoal pit will look like is it's a nice little pile of wood there's going to be a fire in the center place uh, but we want to be hollow on the inside so we can place the logs in there I'm going to let the grass grow now and that will give us the uh, the stability in the overall um, charcoal pit so that it, it will hold itself up as we fill up the inside and then when we go and we harvest the uh, charcoal out of it while it's doing that what we need is a lot of wood and I'm just going to stack a lot of this in here for right now um, take out some of oh we got a couple pieces of granite I see nice take out a little bit of that and we're going to make some axes to go and get some more wood for us and we clearly need a couple of more sticks as well running a bit low. So while the grass grows there, uh, keep an eye on eye on the sun. I'm actually going to go and get those willow saplings and try and demonstrate that willows do grow pretty fast. So they're a very nice renewable uh, wood source and the um, charcoal, as I mentioned, it's the, the two away on the bottom and then the three by three up on the top is that's an awful lot amount of wood if you actually filled that full of wood with the log piles which I'll be showing you in a moment here uh, that actually takes two double chests worth of wood to fill that up so uh, it is a significant amount of wood but the act of making charcoal actually takes quite a bit of that back uh, you'll have a loss from about 25 to about 50 percent 
of uh, the lumber that you use to um, in the charcoal making process. Uh, I'm just going to gather some sticks and uh, some saplings here since I just planted most of them. This is a fairly sapling heavy tree which is nice. Uh, not that it, it's completely random, it doesn't actually have anything to do with just this specific tree. So, um, just one of the things that this guide is supposed to accomplish is, um, as I mentioned on the wiki, uh, if you guys have read that, is that I believe that the characters in the game should have a, a basic understanding of the environment that they're in, and that's what this guide is trying to provide you with, is a way to gather that information without being overwhelmed by how different and, uh, all the different possibilities and such that, uh, the TF Craft mod brings to the table here. Uh, this is actually working out really nicely here. I wonder what my stack, uh, stack of sticks is up to right now. So I got to be pretty good. Oh, 28, not bad at all. So, um, just going through, uh, helping, like, identify the resources. Uh, the way that the mechanics work at this point in time is when you enter an initial biome, it's going to generate uh, multiple layers of rock strata. Uh, specifically three layers of rock strata and you'll see sometimes it'll be at the surface levels where you'll actually be able to see it other times you'll have to dig down underneath the dirt and such uh, but the thing to note is that it, when you enter like um, a swamp the first time there's a couple of different variations on the swamp but say um, like I'll show you the uh, debug screen right now we're in swamp 8 Swamp 8 is always going to have the same makeup no matter where you run into it. So the next time you run into a Swamp 8 environment, it'll have the same sort of makeup. So you can kind of learn your environment in that manner. And that's basically what the, the spotting guide is going to try and uh, assist you with, is when you see a birch tree, being able to tell it from an aspen tree. Uh, right now, all I still have are birches. So I really can't uh, point out the differences as of yet. But that's what uh, will be on the wiki and will help out and such in that area. Uh, I can see our grass around here is coming along nicely. I had expected to be done uh, not too far into the future. And I'm actually a little surprised that we haven't seen a willow tree grow as of yet. Uh, they're usually pretty quick. Um, sometimes I'll be planting like a row of 12 trees or so, and you'll have, um, by the time you put the 12th one down of just running around, you'll have a, a tree or two already grown. So constantly on the lookout for weed seeds, as we are going to be looking for a place to set up shop not too far into the future. Ah, swimming with an axe. Nice. Here we go. One trunk. Just gather up this wood. Ah, that's pretty full, but we can probably take at least another uh, willow tree worth of wood with us. And we'll just plant a replacement real quick. Get some more. Uh, even though I don't need the flinch for the tools and such anymore, uh, it's much easier just to pick up the pieces you see as you go. I, I prefer to fight with uh, a bow and arrow whenever possible. That way um, I don't have to put myself right directly in, uh, in the risky area. So I, I gather up the flint. Eventually we, you know, we'll have a chicken farm and such for making the arrows and things like that see how our grass is doing. Nice, I only need one, two, three, four, five, six, six more pieces need to grow in. Um, going to start over here right now though because what we want to do is we're going to hollow this back out. Is uh, We want to be able to place our logs down here and see how the upper branch there, or the upper branch, the upper piece of uh, grass is going to stay because it has, uh, or dirt is going to stay because it has the grass on top of it. Uh, same with these pieces here, uh, as they'll give us our our supporting roof structure here. I don't think I can take anything else out without it falling down right now, though, so we'll let that do its thing. Start storing some of this uh, wood here for later. Oh, and there we go. Here is a willow tree just waiting for us. How we doing? 
<laughs> Watched grass never grows, I suppose. Some leftover dirt. Could actually make some of the arrows right now. So that'll conserve a little bit of space, which is something that I'm always trying to do. 20 arrows, that'll wait for a, uh, wait for a bow, either from an unsuspecting skeleton, or a set of spiders. Alright, so that side is all grass now, so I'll be able to safely take this part of it down. Let's see what else we can do here. There's the entire back. The entire back is done, so I'll be able to do that row. But I won't be able to reach it all. So that'll work for there. And it's just being frustrating right now. Usually the grass grows a little bit quicker than this. You saw it lot, like, leap up out over the first edge pretty quickly. Uh, I'm just going to keep on gathering wood for now. As, uh, you know, a bit of charcoal is always a nice thing to have. Uh, the reason that charcoal becomes important down the road is uh, naturally forming coal and such actually has other uh, minerals and such into it, like uh, most notably sulfur and stuff, which will contaminate ores. Um, so charcoal is uh, more pure and a little bit, uh, you know, the same sort of uh, heat. So it'll be very useful when we get into uh, doing more of the metallurgy side of things. And I apologize for my frame rate. It seems to drop down every now and again. I'm not sure exactly why it's doing that. Uh, while we wait for a bit more of that grass to grow, I thought I'd explain this funny looking material down here. Uh, what we see underneath the water here, and probably what we're standing on... Oh no, I guess not. I thought we were standing on it. Maybe it's just over here. This funny material here is actually what clay looks like. Uh, this is a mixture of you can see like the the clay veins if you will inside the uh, or on top of the dirt here and clay is also one of the important things that will be coming uh, up when we get into more of the metallurgy side um, what this represents for us right now though is I wanted to point out that while you don't see clay all over the place uh, you might be used to seeing little deposits of clay here and there as you're running through Minecraft uh, especially in like the sandy uh, river areas is this clay is a fairly large deposit and we just happen to have lucked out and get two of them right next to each other here but when you do find a resource in terra, um, terra firma craft you're going to end up noting that you get quite a bit of it in a single location so finding them may be a little bit more challenging a little bit more difficult uh, but when you do find them you're generally going to get really good results for what you're looking for and I'm gonna head back over. It looks like our, our charcoal pit is going to be ready to go here. So we'll just head on over. And after this we're going to look out and see if we can't find a place to start our nice house. And there we go. Just can't remove that one block so we'll just get everything else set up here and start filling it up with wood. I'm sure by the time that happens we'll be ready to go with the next one. So down along, oops, fell through the uh, fireplace. How about that? Uh, down along the bottom here is you can see we got our two away from the fireplace. So this is the basic pattern that we started with in the beginning. And then uh, up in the top here we have our nice little three by three open area. And what we're going to do, oh, I actually have a set of logs, is we're going to start by placing log piles. And these are what uh, a different way of storing wood besides putting it into a chest. Uh, and if I right click you can see I can add more pieces also if you have nothing if you don't have a log in your hand or you have nothing in your hand it'll open this interface where you can just add up to four stacks and this is why it takes so much uh, wood to actually fill uh, a full charcoal pit I'm actually not going to take the time to do it right now because that would take a significant amount of wood gathering and you know that that's not worth watching and what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the uh, the basic mechanics down for you guys so you can go off and instead of watching me do it all with all this wood, you can actually just get the basic understanding and then go and have at it yourself. Uh, so we're just going to oh, deal with a frame rate hit there for some reason. 
I will try and see if I can't find the cause of that and take care of it so it doesn't keep on happening. Uh, add in more here and there. You'll notice when I have extra wood in my hand, I'm actually aiming at the block behind, so I don't stick it in like that. Um, what you can do is if you hold down the shift key and you click on a side, it will actually, instead of placing it inside, it will place it next to. So you just want to, you want to fill up the basic pattern like this. As predicted, the wood or the grass is grown on the top there, so I can fill those in. Uh, you round it out uh, with one there, and you also want to put one above the fire. Now right here we want to leave these two blocks out because we would need to be able to get access to the fire in here. You want to stoke it up with a full set of logs because you need it to burn for a while. Uh, I'm here that you can get away with just putting in two or so, but willow is so such a common wood. I just want to stack it in there so I have a nice full thing so I know what I'm getting into. I'm going to fill these up real quick so we can sow a, a pretty good amount of the wood that is going to be in there. Uh, get a good amount of coal back for our efforts. And then here, what you want to do is, as I mentioned before, just you, I got my fire starter in my hand. I'll be able to restart this fire with just a single click, just like that. And it starts burning, it's going to go through the wood, uh, the temperature will rise up and start doing its thing. But now we want to finish this uh, layout, and as soon as we place that piece there, we should notice that uh, smoke starts rising up and out of the dirt. Unless I have messed up. No, oh, nope, there it goes. Just took a little second. When you see the smoke rising up like this, this means that the charcoal is being made, and it takes roughly 18 in hour games uh, for that to happen. If I didn't have all this dirt around here, what would be happening right now is all of this wood would start catching on fire. Um, you can actually, and that is the initial way that. Uh, they recommend building the fire pit is to set everything up, light, start the fire, and then just encase it in dirt. I do it this way just because I'm not trying to frantically go around and put the dirt where the fires are so I don't lose some of my wood. Now I'm not going to sit here for 18 hours and I don't really have the editing tools to be able to do like a uh, time lapse of this. So I'm going to cut for now and when we come back we will see that the, uh, the, finished, uh, the finished product. So see you in a moment. So uh, we are back, and as you can see, it's been a bit of a harrowing night. I believe the charcoal... Yep, those are just the torches. Looks like the charcoal is done. I put a uh, other fire up on top so I could cook some food while I was waiting. And all the wood is gone. So when you're done uh, making the charcoal, instead of it just randomly appearing and potentially going away, what it does is it puts it in here for you. Um, that's what the the four top corners over here are and as you can see I've done a little bit of uh, maintenance and stuff is uh, the next thing uh, we need to do is find a place to live so that's what I'll be uh, working on on the next episode is uh, just going over some of the decisions you need to make as you uh, hunt down a place and such uh, see over there looks like we got some mountains and such uh, over here looks like we have some plains and over there I want to say that looks like snow as I can kind of see like a white top to some of those trees so there might be snow over that way uh, yeah like over there too so uh, lots of different options and we'll start figuring that out in the next episode so once again if there's anything you'd like me to cover uh, please put it in the comments uh, talk to you later